What is up fellow developers? My name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to a different type of video. You're thinking, wow, we can actually see your face. But anyway, in this video, we're gonna be doing a and a a questions and answers type of video. I put out a couple of messages on YouTube and uh, Twitter saying, drop me some um, questions and I'll answer them. And I'll also put your face on screen, right? Somewhere, probably down here. Or there, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't know what angle I'm at right now. Um, but anyway, so let's get on to the serious questions. Question number one. The question number one is by Dixie, um, at the real Dixie on Twitter. Um, and he said, what are you wearing for Halloween? Now it is a serious question. Um, it's not code related like I wanted, but it's a serious question, so it must be answered. I'm wearing this. This. This is Sp Spider-Man movie free. Yeah, this what I'm wearing. God, I can't breathe. Can't, <sighs> can't breathe in this thing. So for the rest of this video, we are in this Spider-Man outfit. I hope you enjoy. So now let's get on to some real questions this time. Question number one for real. Um, is by Aaron A. Aaron P. Fisher on Twitter. His question is, the what is the, I, I assume it's what is, uh, the most challenging project you've ever worked on? And to be honest, we worked on, me and Aaron, bearing in mind, this is one of my old colleagues, we worked on a project um, for BMW and, and Mini. Um, and it was a really fun project. Um, but it was very difficult because when I first started out, I had no idea what I was doing. It was in Node.js and I was basically all over the shop. I didn't know what I was writing. I started writing things before I knew what they actually did. Um, and in the end, it was quite a mess. So we had to end up rewriting it a couple of times, to be honest. Um, we ended up going for a PHP um, system because it just worked better for what we wanted to do. And it was pretty fun. It was cool, but it was very challenging. The most challenging part was probably learning Node.js on a production level. I knew it about messing around with it, but I never knew it any more than that. And that was quite a while ago, but it was a really difficult but fun project to do. His second question is, what was the funnest language to learn? And personally, I this is this I think the funnest language to learn was Unity Script. So obviously JavaScript is probably my favorite language um a lot of people hate on me for that but it is i i love Vue.js, i love react and i love just vanilla javascript but one of the things that people um w which people don't know is i actually make games as well and when i first started out i really enjoyed learning c sharp slash um, unity script there wasn't real c sharp it was more of unity's adapt adapt adaptation for it um and it kind of it kind of it was it was really fun. I learned loads of new things, and it was kind of learning forces and um, game related logic. So like how the game engine worked, really. Next question. So Sir Spoopy from the Discord server, the coding pot, the server I run. Um, he is one of the moderators on there, and the links in the description for the Discord server. If you want to join, feel free. Um, but he's asked quite a few questions. I'm going to answer them all. They're all very very serious questions um so question number one how long have you been developing in general um and that answer is quite hard because i don't really remember it was i started off doing a lot of wanting to be a hacker sort of stuff i, I started off playing call of duty and i really wanted to hack the game on pc so i did um don't tell anyone please it was something I didn't know. I don't even know it was that long ago, but it was when I was around 12. It was like 10 years ago, probably probably nine years ago. Um, but if we're talking about web development, it was kind of only five years ago. When I was in school, I started to learn it. Probably, I'd say five, six years ago is when I properly started to learn it and wanted to actually get into it. And that's kind of where I am now. Next question number two, how is the baby doing? August is doing fine, thank you sir, Spoopy. Now, question number three, what is your development setup, PC specs and peripherals? So my development setup is, well, if we're talking about YouTube development, it's obviously this Blue Yeti microphone, it's amazing. Um, thank you to one of my Patreons who 
donated that kindly um also check out the patreon it's in the description if you want to support me you can um shameless plug um my other thing is my macbook pro i can kind of show you it i don't know if you can see that um it's my macbook pro 2015 um I can't remember all the specs, but it's a 13 inch MacBook Pro, quite small, but it works perfectly for me. I hook it up to a, I, I was gonna say a monitor, but it's actually a really, really old TV, which I've had since I was like 15. That's kind of it. I don't really use peripherals. I can't use keyboard and mouse. Sometimes I hook up a Mac mouse and a Mac keyboard. When I'm at work, I have a big Mac monitor and another MacBook Pro, um, which are also really good to work with. Number four. RGB or no RGB? RGB. PC or console? I am, if we're talking about gaming, PC, although I have, I did lose my PC, um, but I'm now a console player, but I would rather have a PC, if that makes sense. Trick or treat? You're not having any of my candy. It's all mine. It's all my, it's all my sweets. You guys can't have none of it. You can have trick. I'll make this pen disappear. Voila. No one has ever done that. No one has ever done that. Okay, guys. So the next question is on YouTube. A person called Mo asks, did you have a role model growing up? And do you still look up to him? Uh, I wouldn't say really a role model. I was more just, I, I liked, but not a real role model. My sort of role models are superhero based. Um, Superman was my first like superhero Luff, and then the flash then goku then um spider-man and loads of others i like superheroes i look up to them they inspire me personally that's kind of how that is um next up web noob also a really good few js um youtuber you should check out his channel um asked you in 10 years which person are you what goals have you achieved so me in 10 years, billionaire, working at my current company, probably trying to have a higher up role, probably one of the top people, maybe even have a little investment in the company, um, work, still doing my YouTube channel, I want to make sure this grows and teaching people how to code and maybe even have my own community of people, meetups and stuff like that so people can come see. Um, again, I, in 10 years, my kids will be a lot older. It'll be great. So I got take them on more holidays and stuff like that. Goals I've achieved, again, maybe being up, um, hitting 100K on YouTube. That's that's a good aim, I assume, in 10 years. Nope. Uh, obviously, higher paid role, doing a lot more in my job and hopefully managing my own team at my job, uh, which I think would be a great goal. Um, so yeah, so web noob, that's, that's how I, where I see myself in 10 years. Um, I hope that answers your question. So next one is, I'm really sorry, I can't pronounce your name. It's, I'm not even gonna try. You guys can see it just there or there or there or there or wherever I've put it. But it says, how do you start learning something new? Tutorials versus jumping into docs. I've got to admit, when I first started learning, tutorials on YouTube was all I used. I didn't, I hated documentation. I didn't understand it. It was really crappy. It just didn't work for me. So I kind of just went on the sort of thing is, oh, tutorials are great. You can watch and then copy exactly what they're doing and learn that way. That's not a great way. You should never just copy what they're doing because I never learned anything doing it that way. I just copied. What I did, so how I learn things now is probably documentation. Documentation is probably the best way of me learning how to um, code. Um, I feel like documentation allows you to dive straight into the code instead of a video where you have to follow along. Um, this is going against what I do, but I mean, what I do I think is great for people who are starting out, but when you start getting to the point where you just, you know how to code, you just need to know how a framework works or how something works, I find it's for me personally, it's better for me to just jump into the documentation and learn all the code like that. And that's kind of how I started to learn to code. Um, so thank you, um, that was a good question. Next question. 
Do you think that you will still be working as a developer in five to 10 years? As I said, I do think I'll be learning to be a developer, uh, learning. I think I will be a developer in five to 10 years and I hope to be a higher up one, someone doing more things and things. So I assume I answer this in web news question, but thank you again, uh, Matthias Jacobson for your question. Um, so that is it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because if you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell at the same time, you'll be notified as soon as a new video goes live. Um, don't forget to leave feedback and anything you want in the comment section below. And if you do like this type of video, this Q&A sort of video, then don't forget to leave some questions in the comments below and I'll do another video. If you guys like like this type of video, I'll do more of them. If you don't, I'll do less of them. If you really hate it, then I'll do none of them. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed making this one. So let's hope you guys like it. <laughs> um, but thank you very much, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track